Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, A, B, C, D and this uh, semicircle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the side length of this uh, green rectangle uh, A, D is equal to this uh, side length uh, B, C and that is uh, also equal to this uh, segment uh, D, E and this uh, segment uh, EC as well and furthermore uh, the area of this uh, semicircle uh, has been given to us uh, as pi square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded rectangle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step uh, since uh, the area of this uh, semicircle is uh, pi. So we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me call this radius as a lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore I'm going to divide uh, both uh, sides by 2. So therefore we can see the area of this uh, semicircle on the left hand side has been given to us uh, as uh, pi. So therefore we can write this equation as uh, pi equal to pi r square divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. We can see that this 2 and 2 is uh, gone. So therefore uh, 2 pi turns out to be pi r square and now let's divide both sides by pi so therefore uh, r square turns out to be equal to 2 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, r turns out to be square root of uh, 2 and that's our radius and here's our next step let's go ahead and uh, connect uh, these points a and e as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE and we know that this uh, angle ADE is uh, 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, green uh, rectangle and this uh, side length uh, AD is equal to this side length uh, DE so no wonder this triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore both of these uh, angles are going to be congruent and both of these angles are going to be 45 degrees each and the sum of all uh, these uh, three angles in this triangle uh, is going to be equal to 180 degrees and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole angle is uh, 180 degrees since this is our straight angle and we know that this uh, angle is 45 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, angle is going to be 180 degrees minus uh, 45 degrees is going to give us uh, 135 uh, degrees so therefore uh, this angle uh, AEC turns out to be 135 uh, degrees and in this uh, next step I have connected this center O with these uh, points uh, a and C on this uh, semicircle and now let's recall the central angle theorem according to this theorem the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference and now let's make an observation we can see that this 135 degrees uh, angle uh, is at the circumference so therefore uh, this uh, whole uh, angle uh, outside uh, is going to be 2 times this angle 135 so 2 times 135 degrees is going to give us 270 degrees so therefore our this angle at the center turns out to be 270 degrees and now let's make an observation once again this whole angle is 360 degrees and this outside angle is 270 degrees so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle uh, is going to be 90 degrees and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect uh, these uh, points uh, a and c as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, aoc and we can see that this uh, ao length uh, and this uh, 
or C length uh, are the radii of this uh, semicircle and our radius uh, is square root of 2. So therefore uh, this radius uh, A O is going to be square root of 2 and this uh, O C is going to be square root of 2 as well. And now we are going to calculate uh, this other side length uh, A C. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, square root of 2 and then a whole uh, square plus b is uh, square root of 2 as well. Whole uh, square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and simplify. We're going to get 2 plus uh, 2 equal to c square. So therefore, uh, c square turns out to be 4. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both sides. So therefore, our c value turns out to be positive 2. So thus our this uh, a c length uh, turns out to be 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, ADC. And now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, x uh, units. And since uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal, so therefore uh, this side length uh, DE is going to be x and this uh, EC length is going to be x uh, as well. So therefore uh, this uh, total length uh, CD is going to be x uh, plus x is going to make uh, 2 times uh, x. So thus the side lengths uh, of this uh, right triangle uh, ADC turn out to be 2x uh, and uh, 2x. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x, so this becomes x square. b is 2 times x whole square. And c in our case is 2, so this becomes 2 square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us x square plus uh, 4x square equals to 4. So if we combine the like terms, that's going to give us 5x square equals to 4. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5. So therefore, uh, our x square value turns out to be 4 divided by 5. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times width uh, of the rectangle and here in our case uh, our width uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, x and the length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 2 times x so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, green uh, rectangle is going to be length is 2x and width is x. So let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us 2 times x square. And now the value of x square we already figured out is 4 divided by 5. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by 4 divided by 5 over here. So therefore this is going to become 2 times 4 divided by 5. If we multiply this thing, that is going to be 8 uh, divided by 5. So therefore, the area of this uh, green rectangle could be written as uh, 1.6 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle turns out to be 1.6 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.